Well, could the French hold the key to Australia becoming a leaner, healthier society? They might love their chocolate and baguettes, but as Tinika Everart reports, it's how much they eat and when they eat it that makes the difference. You never have to die again. They're the words we've all been waiting to hear. For me, it was a miracle. I've lost 14 kilos thanks to the French way of eating. Eat as the French do, and you can have your cake and eat it too. I can have chocolate, cheese, pastries, n none of it's off the menu. Over the years, we've seen it all. Shakes, pills, detoxes, all adding to our diet dramas. As a nation, we spend more than $1 million a day on weight loss attempts. 95% of all dieters will regain their lost weight in one to five years, according to the Dietitians Association of Australia. So if you want to drop those kilos and keep them off, then listen up. I tried every diet known to mankind. Sally Asher has ditched diets forever. Ten years ago, the mother of two was ten kilos heavier. The rigid rules led to feelings of deprivation and it led to you know, guilt and then more overeating. All this changed when she moved abroad. I started to observe how the French eat and just thought, well, look, forget counting calories, carbs and fat grams. I'm just going to eat how they eat. Now she's released this book, Losing It in France, which is making waves in the weight loss world. Susie Castle says the book has helped her see she was consuming food without even realising. Now she stopped her boredom fuelled binges, 14 kilos have simply fallen off. I don't miss out on anything but yet I'm losing weight at the same time. Fad diets don't work. Fitness trainer to the stars Donna Aston says fad diets make you think you're losing fat. Truth is... You'd be losing fluid and you can lose two kilos on the scales and actually not have lost a single gram of fat. So what's on the menu? A typical French breakfast includes a baguette and jam, fruit and Greek yoghurt. For lunch there's soup, grapes and bread. Dinner's a walnut salad, salmon, lentils, more bread and cheese, accompanied by red wine and berries with ice cream. While a typical Aussie feast, where bigger is better, includes Vegemite on toast for brekkie, followed by a ham and cheese roll for lunch, and for dinner, a big bowl of spaghetti. Wrap it all up with a bowl of ice cream and some red wine. Dietitian Melanie McRice believes the French are on to a winner. So which one's a more balanced diet and why? Oh, look, I'd definitely go for this French diet uh, because of the, uh, the extra fruit and vegetables that are in it um, and protein. Melanie says the French believe less is more. They choose quality ingredients over quantity. So many Aussies are doing, they're just having slightly too big portion sizes. And year after year, that really adds up to extra kilojoules and extra fat on our hips.